Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel where our goal is to provide relevant education and accurate information for all things self-defense from the civilian perspective for civilians. My name is Craig. Today we are going to talk about how to deal with the shakes when you are shooting pistols. So this is something that I've actually dealt with firsthand on multiple occasions with some of my students and we've had success every single time uh, we've come across this. So I had a guy about a month ago uh, show up to class, great student, listened to exactly what we were saying, shot extremely well, uh, but he showed up with a little bit of the, a little bit of the shakes. His hand was shaking about like that. And when he showed up, uh, he said, hey, Craig, just want to let you know I'm not nervous, but I have some neuromuscular uh, issues and I just shake. I said, hey, man, not a problem. We're going to work around that. So how do we do that? How do we work around the shakes? Uh, you might have, like I said, that neuromuscular issue. Uh, you might have Parkinson's. Uh, so let's talk about that. Uh, one of the things that I've noticed when you're working with people with the shakes, that shake uh, is pretty uh, consistent, okay? So it's not random. And what I'm talking about, guys, so going back, the body is about 70 to 75% water. So regardless of how strong you are, uh, when I aim a pistol, rifle, or whatever, uh, I'm going to have a little bit of shake in that. As we get further away from our target, that wobble, because uh, our target's smaller, that wobble is significantly more pronounced. So we have to apply those techniques to uh, people with the shakes up front. So what am I talking about? Typically, uh, with uh, when you're further out, guys, we're dealing with a... Uh, 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 you know, it looks like the number eight or an infinity sign, okay? That's typically the path that your sights are going to take. If you haven't watched it yet, go watch my video on uh, prepping the trigger, taking up the slack, because that really plays heavily into what we're about to talk about. So as your gun begins to move, one of the things that I tell the students is right before, because we kind of know that shake is, is pretty much consistent and it's uniform, so we know uh, when we're at certain areas, when that front sight or that dot or whatnot, when it becomes or when it starts to enter into an acceptable spot on your target, that trigger should already be prepped to the wall. And then as soon as you enter into that acceptable spot with that trigger, we're gonna press that shot off, okay? So as we're shaking, we're moving, we're moving, we're moving, I'm prepping that trigger, I'm prepping that trigger, and as soon as I enter into that acceptable area, I'm pressing that shot off, okay? Uh, there's a drill that I do uh, where I show massive movement on a target, but like I said, guys, if we prep that trigger and as soon as our sights hit within the area, uh, you're gonna make those shots. So uh, the student, uh, the most recent one that we did shot extremely well. I was very, very pleased with him. Even when we backed out to 10 to 15 yards, he used those same principles that we showed him up close out back. So we're gonna have to learn to work with those things. It's just something that uh, some people have been given and you just gotta learn to work around it. So guys, don't fight the wobble, okay? Don't fight it. It's pretty uniform. You know what's gonna happen. But as soon as you come into that acceptable area of that target, prep that trigger, break that shot. So it's pretty straightforward, guys. Nothing too crazy. Uh, but the last couple of students that we've had with some shakes or whatnot, uh, we've been able to use that technique and they have shot extremely well. And they've actually walked away uh, very, very proud of themselves, very excited because I can tell you when they showed up, they were pretty nervous uh, that they weren't going to either uh, shoot well or, um, you know, who, who knows what was going through their minds. But guys, uh, that's a little tip that I've learned and I've used with several students that has been very successful. Guys, thank you so much. Hope this video has been somewhat helpful to you. Um, if you're taking new shooters out to the range or whatnot, helping them become more confident uh, in their shooting ability. But just a quick tip works for, uh, works for us. Uh, we've had great success with it, guys. Uh, before we leave, if you have yet to subscribe to the channel, please do so. Uh, and if you can smash that like button, we would definitely appreciate it. But be safe, be smart, be skilled. We'll catch you on the next video.